that Logic Pro guy here. Today we're looking at Logic Pro 12. And I'm kind of baffled, I have to be honest. As an extensive Logic Pro user, I've taught it all over the world. I have clients from everywhere. I produce clients. This is my go-to DAW. And we're now getting an upgrade to Logic Pro 12. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. None of the fluff. The only thing that's really new, if I'm just being completely honest with you, is not much. Creator Studio, the ability for people to subscribe if they would like with some, what I would consider to be some throwaway apps. We have Main Stage, which is getting an upgrade, but if we go, you know, to the rest of these, Compressor, Numbers, Freeform, I thought that that was a free app, Final Cut Pro, Pages, this is not impressive, like, at all. And I'm not trying to be critical, but you got to understand from Logic 10 to Logic 11, it was a 10-year process. And now it just feels like we're not getting very much in terms of value. I don't know if Apple's being cornered. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes in terms of the silicon chip. But this does not feel that exciting. Here are all the notes I've taken thus far. The new version is going to require Apple Silicon. No more Intel. So that is a hard bargain for a lot of folks. They're going to have to upgrade if they want to keep up with the Logic Pro lifestyle, if you will. Logic Pro for iPad requires iPad Operating software 26 or later at an iPad with Apple's A12 Bionic chip or later. Some features also require Apple A17 Pro chip or later. Still not clear on those features, but I know this to be true. So as it stands, it seems like they're promoting this subscription. $12.99 a month, $129 a year. It seems like you could still purchase it as a standalone, which is fantastic for me. The last thing I want is another subscription. I don't really use Logic Pro for iPad. I think it's interesting. I think it's a neat thing to have in your back pocket, but I don't think it's anything, uh, you know, worth really touting about. Um, some of the new features. I'm just going to get right to it. New browser similar to Logic Pro for iPad. And I do like this because there's, uh, a natural language aspect to it. In other words, you can probably type things like, you know, snare like Dr. Dre or something like that, and you'll be able to get something that, you know, fits a little bit closer. I think we were up to like 34,000 loops. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'll include, you know, a couple more here. Um, so the new sound library, it, that's an upgrade. That's nice. Again, not necessarily the craziest thing but i'll take it this one feature i personally do really enjoy and i know i'm going to use a whole lot so using chord id to quickly identify chords from any part of your songs and session players will follow along so that part is nice we do get a new synth session player but that's it I think it's fairly obvious that we need an acoustic guitar player electric guitar player these things do need to happen other uh, companies have kind of made progress in that respect, and I definitely think we need that. Uh, chord ID pulls the chords from MIDI and audio regions, and it drops them into the chord track. So that, pretty fascinating. I would say that's awesome. I personally don't use Main Stage, so I can't say much about that, but that looks like it's getting a major facelift. And if it's even worth saying, this Logic Pro for iPad gets quick swipe comping, which again, not very exciting. Other than that, everything else looks exactly the same. Nothing different. So here is that chord detection that I was saying, right? You can pull chords from MIDI and audio. You would control click into the contextual menu, go to chords, analyze chords. I love that. That's beautiful. That's going to help a, a lot of folks. But I mean, I don't know, guys, this doesn't, this doesn't excite me very much feels like a very rushed move to me personally main stage does look very nice i will say that but i don't know i'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter um we have had a bunch of awesome updates there's no doubt but uh why are they doing this like it just feels so rushed they certainly could have waited i mean logic pro 12 already it's only been 
think two years, if that. I, I don't really get this move. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm out of here. Thank you very much.